My name is Henry Colt. This is a flexible bronchoscope. During the next few videos, my colleagues and I are going to demonstrate how this instrument can be used to inspect the airways and make a diagnosis in a variety of lung disorders. I can perform bronchoscopy from the head of the patient or from the side of the patient. I can insert the scope through the nostril or through the mouth using a bite block. When I insert the scope into the airway, I can stabilize the scope at the insertion site. I need to be careful to never poke my patient in the eye. We always give oxygen when we do bronchoscopy. When the bronchoscope is inserted through the mouth, the oxygen is provided using nasal cannula. On the other hand, when bronchoscopy is performed through the nostrils, a face mask is applied and the bronchoscope is inserted through the mask into the nostril. The bronchoscope is inserted through the right nostril with the operator standing in front of the patient. Viscous topical anesthetic obscures the view as the scope is passed gently beyond the middle meatus and past the uvula until the epiglottis is seen. Topical anesthetic is then sprayed gently onto the vocal cords, numbing the larynx completely. Keeping the scope well centered, the bronchoscope is passed between the cords into the subglottic region of the upper trachea. From the head of the patient, the bronchoscope is advanced past the middle meatus. The uvula is seen anteriorly pointing towards the larynx. The epiglottis is seen anteriorly protecting the glottic aperture. The arytenoids are seen posteriorly at the 6 o'clock position. The scope can be held in either the right or the left hand. Some people prefer to drive the scope with their dominant hand, while others prefer to use their dominant hand to manipulate accessory instruments. Regardless, remember that the hand holding the scope does all the work, and that the other hand simply stabilizes the scope at the insertion site and manipulates other instruments. Whenever we perform bronchoscopy, it's important for the bronchoscopist to feel comfortable. I want to keep my shoulders square my feet planted firmly on the ground. My elbows are tucked in. There's no need for lots of body movement. I don't need to be dancing around the patient. This will keep my patient calm, confident, and cared for.